Anyway, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, it, it shows, you know, all these, all these non-indigenous, might be the pearling masters and all that sitting out the front of the, the pearl shops and that, you know, around the side here. Because, you know, when I looked at it the other day, you know, I thought I was going to look at something good, but it shows all the, probably stockmen or whoever they are, they're not indigenous, but you know, it's only a model, but it shows them playing two up. There's a couple of Japanese or Chinese people there. And I mean, being NAIDOC week and everything, and all these tourists want to come to Broome and learn about indigenous people. And, you know, they look back in history and it shows well, I'm pretty sure that these are indigenous people in chains getting lit at gunpoint. I mean, it's only a model, but it's depicting history. And then you got a Ellie's general merchant there, and the models they got there. You can obviously tell that they're the hierarchy of back in the day, but you know, this sort of thing, it's, it's not necessary, you know, to be seeing that sort of stuff. We see, we see enough of this sort of stuff, you know, growing up and that. And tourists come to town, they, I mean, they could have shown, you know, the Aboriginal people having a corroboree or something, you know, not in chains getting let at gunpoint, you know, and, you know, who's, who, which mob are they? You know, a lot of this went along in, in the East Kimberley. But, you know, which, what people are they? What tribe are they, you know? We don't know. And it's just like a slap in the face. I mean, when you look at this model, it talks about the Chinese and the history and the pearling of Broome, but the pearling industry would have been would have been would have been nothing without the indigenous people and the Torres Strait Islanders. Even though they did take people from their homelands, they took them straight off the land onto the boats. They didn't parade them in town like this. And I know this because I know my history, you know. Yeah. So my name's Nick Marley. I'm from Broome, I'm born and bred, I'm 40 years old. My mother is 70 years old, you know, she's a Yarrow elder, Wolverman Yarrow woman. But you know, I come here the other day and I went to just look at this model with my son and the first thing I saw was, you know, a model of all these, which, you know, of indigenous people being led at gunpoint in a model which is, you know, supposed to be educating tourists about broom and everything and, you know, it's bad enough we see our people drinking on the streets and getting chased away from up the hill there and everything else and one mile and everything and, and you know, everywhere you go, you know, it just seems to be nothing good, you know, and there should be more positives with this sort of stuff, you know, maybe they should have been sitting down having a corroboree or something or show them working because they're, they're either working for the pearling companies as, or, you know, as, as servants, you know, they weren't just led around and chains, you know, that this sort of stuff happened. It did happen in East Kimberley and, and you know, sort of south of Broome and north and that, but, you know, it's just like a, it's a slap in the face, you know, and you don't have to keep throwing it in our face. We know, you may as well put up posters everywhere of Indigenous people and change, you know. We're proud people and we want people to see us sitting down doing art and everything else, you know, and, they see this, they go out on the street, they see us drinking, they see us, our, our mob up the hill there getting chased away and, you know, it's just, it's not good, you know. So this picture where we all know the history where the government took all the people away from their homelands and just put them in jail, you know, all the pastoralists and it's a dark history. And we don't have to be reminded of it because we all know about it, you know. So, 
something like this with all these people who are from all over the world. You know, we want to show them a bit more of a positive, you know, and, you know, as you can see, if they're going to do this, well, they may as well go around putting up posters of this everywhere. But obviously this has been here for a long time, looking at the amount of dust and everything on it, so I'm pretty sure it hasn't been here for long, but I reckon it's been here long enough, you know, and it should be removed.